welcome to this new video so in this video we have to create a dashboard for employees insight okay so basically we have the data set okay i'll provide the data set link in the description box you can download the data set and you can also create this kind of dashboard first i'll explain this dashboard and after that i'll tell you how to create this kind of dashboard from the given data set okay so basically we have lot of customization option here for example we have given a slicer for male and female okay we can select if we select the female as a gender so it will give the data as per the female gender if we select male it will give the data as per the male gender okay now we have work type as well so basically three different types of work type are there contract full time and part time if we select contract the data will change according to contract then full time then part time okay now if you want to clear the selection we have a button for clear selection as well okay now pay type are of two types hourly and salary so if you select salary the data will change accordingly and if you select hourly the data will change accordingly okay now like separation reasons are there so basically two types of separation regions are reasons are there voluntary and involuntary okay so if you select voluntary so data will change accordingly and if you select involuntary then data will change accordingly okay now at last see uh, employee will have a age so we have segregation based on age as well okay now what is the segregation uh, whether the employee is less than 30 years of age whether the employee is, is like 50 plus years of age and whether the employee is in between like 30 to 50 okay so if you select you can select like less than 30 50 plus and in between 30 and 50 like this so data will change accordingly now basically this is called as matrix table it will give the complete insight okay so first we have a different types of cost center then salary total salary cost average salary cost total employees average tenure in month as well as leave balance okay now this is called as this one I'm talking about this one. So this one is called as a ribbon chart. So basically what it shows, it shows total employees by business unit and gender. Okay. So this dark blue color is nothing but male, light blue color is nothing but female. Okay. And these are the business unit and this uh, ribbon is showing the total employees. Okay. Now this, you know, this is the donut chart. So based on the like employee rating out of five, we have are like total employees okay count of employees so for example the total number of employees with employee rating as 3 are 1617 which is nothing but 50 percent of the force workforce so basically now here we have given a slicer okay so slicer is in the form of slider okay so basically this is nothing but hiring date so you can slide and the data will change according to the hiring date for example this data is in between 12 9 1966 to 1 12 1999 now let's say you don't want the old data you want new data right so you will move this slicer towards the right side okay now the data is from 1999 to 2014 so like this the slider will work now we have some drop down so you can select business unit from here cost center from here ethnic group from here whether it is from group 1 group 2 group 3 and based on employee rating as well you can segregate the data now how to create this kind of dashboard it is very easy you can create this kind of dashboard within 10 minutes i say within 10 minutes you can create okay so what you should know you should know how to load the data the second thing is you should know how to create the slices see this particular column we have all slices this particular column we have all slices okay now you should know how to create the visuals visuals you should in visuals you should know how to create the donut chart how to create the ribbon chart how to create the stack bar chart how to create the matrix visuals and at last how to create tree map so this is called as a tree map so basically what it is showing it is showing total number of employees by area in different cost center we have different cost centers such as sales and marketing means nothing but cost center nothing but department okay sales and marketing it manufacturing legal finance research facility hr like this and at last management okay now i'll tell you how to create this kind of dashboard okay so you should know whenever you are creating the dashboard the very first thing is you should know how to load the data okay so for loading the data you have the option of get data you have to click on get data 
you have to select the file so when you click on the get data there are multiple sources for getting the data in the power bi okay so uh, i'll provide an excel workbook in the description box link of the excel workbook in the description box you can download that particular excel workbook okay and you can practice on it okay so you have to select excel workbook here then you have to select the down path of the downloaded file so as i have already loaded the data i will not load it again so basically you have to just click on the connect okay once the data is loaded you can see here three views are there first one is the report view second one is the data view and third one is the model view okay so this is nothing but report view where we create the visuals the second one is nothing but the data view so this kind of data i'll give in the excel workbook so first column is of employee id second one is of gender the third one is of age then ethnic group work type whether it is of part time full time or contract then business unit so different business unit means different places on which the business is set up okay then call center means a different department hiring date then whether the uh, whether the employee is currently in the organization or not in the form of yes and no then pay salary whether it is of like hourly salary or like salary complete monthly salary then uh, if the employee is not with us so what is the separation region okay so uh, voluntary or involuntary then age group then tenure in days tenure in month leave balance sick days in last 12 month okay current salary and employee rating out of 5 okay now this is the data so the and as we have like one table so there is no point of creating this particular uh, like model view okay so if we have like multiple tables in our model then what we have to do in model view we have to build the connection either one to one connection or one to many connection we have to build in the model view okay now i'll tell you how to create this kind of dashboard so the very first thing for creating the dashboard is you should know how to create the slicer okay now for example uh, whenever you are creating the slicer you have to click here okay now let's say you are creating the slicer for gender so just tick mark the gender now the slicer is in the form of checkbox now let's say you want in the form of tiles like this okay in the form of buttons we can say these buttons are there okay so what should you do so just select the slicer okay go to format your visual slicer setting now style in style you have to select the tile as a style okay now the next thing is you have to give the background so go to effect go to first general then effect then background you have to select this one if you are creating like me okay and then again we uh, go to general okay background is done okay go to value make it bold font color you can select accordingly and at last background again you can select your own color whatever you want okay so this is how you have to create the slicer okay now we have created the slicer for gender so similarly you have to create slicers for this particular thing work type pay type separation region age group okay now how to create slicer in the form of drop down okay so for example i'll give one example of business unit so for creating the drop down so what you have to do let's say we are copy pasting this particular slicer now we are creating the slicer for business unit okay so what i'll do i'll untick the gender i'll select business unit here now we want this particular slicer in the form of drop down so i'll go to format your visual slicer setting style i'll select drop down so see drop down will come you can select different business center from here okay so this is how you have to create this slicer it's very easy now so basically now you can create this particular column slices for gender work type pay type separation region age group and also in the form of drop down you can create business unit cost center ethnic group current employee rating and whether the employee is employed or not okay now the next thing is how to create this kind of slicer so again what 
if you select the date now it will automatically select the type of slicer okay now i am selecting the slicer and in this slicer i'll select hiring date see it will come automatically okay now you can like change the data accordingly like this so almost everything is done now we have to create the visuals so the first visual i'll explain this one okay tree map so for creating tree map what you have to do you have to select this option tree map okay now in tree map first you have to select the category so for category uh, category and values are important so for values what we have to select we have selected total employees and for category we can select cost center So this is called as a tree map. This is how you have to create a tree map. Okay, total employees by cost center. Now the next thing is how to create a matrix table. Okay, so for matrix table, you have to select this option matrix. Okay, so the first one is cost center. So values will come automatically have to just check. Okay, the second one is total employees, then their salary cost. We'll just check mark leave balance average tenure average salary so data will come automatically now you have to just color code it okay you have to select the background of rows columns make it bold and all okay so this is also done now the next thing is for like a uh, donut chart ribbon chart i'll explain okay so for donut chart the main important thing is legend as well as values so let's say uh, you are segregating total employees means in values we will put total employees and uh, based on the gender how much male and how much female so like this you can segregate okay similarly if you are creating a ribbon chart okay so ribbon chart is this one okay legend in legend i'll select gender y axis total employees and x axis we can select business unit okay so like this ribbon will automatically unit okay so on x axis we have different business unit on y axis we have total employees and the color shows uh, for male and female dark color is for male and light color is for female okay so this is how you have to create a ribbon chart and bar chart you can easily create so once you have created all the visuals your dashboard will look like this okay so at last what you have to do you have to just check the data whether your dashboard is working or not means whenever you are selecting something whether the data is changing or not you have to check so if you have any doubt any doubt in this dashboard you can drop a mail okay either you can just comment in the comment box i will definitely reply okay so i hope you have liked this video thank you for joining with me in this video thank you